everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a styling video. So in today's video I've put together seven looks with the ultimate spring item, the trench coat. So this is one of my favourite pieces to wear in spring, it's so classic, so timeless, it works year after year so whether you're watching this video in 2024 or 2025 you know that these looks and this trench coat are still going to be on trend and still wearable. So this is my beloved trench coat here. I do have a shorter trench coat as well, but for this video I thought I'd go with the long classic version just so it goes with most of the looks. I'm sure lots of you have a very similar item to this one in your wardrobe. If you don't, I'll make sure to link some alternatives to this one because unfortunately this one is no longer available. It's from Massimo Duty and it was a fantastic purchase. I hunted high and low to try and find the perfect trench that was of good quality. It didn't crease too much, the right colour, the right length and after much searching a couple of years ago I found this one. So I will link some that I think look similar and are of a good quality. But yeah, this is my one. If you happen to be able to find it on eBay or Vinted or anything like that, I got it in a size extra small. So like I said, we have seven looks here for kind of different occasions, some more smart, some more casual and they're all hanging on my new rail. Half of it's kind of cut off there but I have a nice new rail which you will have seen over on Instagram in my Spray Essentials video. But I'm going to start off with look number one. So this is a very spring-like look. I've gone for an all-white outfit. So we've got a plain white t-shirt here. I'll take the belt off the hanger for now so you can see. This one is just from Cos. My favourite white t-shirts, my favourite t-shirts in general are from COS. They're fantastic quality. This was £25, so on the pricier side for a t-shirt, but I was just so fed up of buying ones from Zara and H&M that were like 6 7 99 and they would go grey after a couple of washes. They weren't thick enough, they didn't have enough structure. So I just invested in more expensive ones from COS and I love them. I got this one in a size small i would say you probably could size up i prefer my t-shirts to just be a little bit more fitted so that when i'm wearing them underneath coats and jackets that they don't kind of scrunch up but you could definitely size up if you prefer more oversized fit the only thing i would say about these is i learnt my lesson the hard way but do not tumble dry them i accidentally put this in a tumble dry load and it shrunk quite a lot so just avoid the tumble dryer with these t-shirts. I've then paired that with a beautiful pair of white trousers. I love an all white look. I think it's so spring-like. I am not afraid of pairing white tops with white bottoms. I think it looks beautiful. These are both kind of like an off-white. I do think the belt is definitely needed to break up the look a little bit. You could do tan leather though if you don't have a black leather belt. This one is just from Amazon. It's a perfect Hermes dupe also comes in top and uh, tan colour as well, lots of other colours but those are the two that I also love. These trousers in particular are from Lily Silk, a fantastic classic white straight leg trouser, fab quality and the perfect size as well. I got them in a size 8 and they fit really nicely. The thing I love about them as well is on the waistband it's elasticated at the back but it's nice and tailored with like belt loops and a zip and button fastening at the front so really comfortable but also really chic and stylish at the same time whilst i was definitely tempted to pair this look with my black ballet flats i wear them so much in spring summer i thought i'd better go for something different so i've just gone more casual with my original sambas i feel like they go really nicely make the outfit a little bit more casual and then i've just gone for my classic ysl bag as well to match with the black leather belt. For look number two, again something super classic. Blue denim and stripes, you cannot go wrong with this combination. These jeans are from Zara, I got them last summer, the end of last summer I think. Really nice light wash and they are a beautiful straight leg with a raw hem. Really really flattering. I have a lot of wider leg jeans that are baggy and looser so I thought something that's a little bit straighter would be a good addition to my wardrobe and I love the way that blue denim looks with stripes so I dug out this gorgeous cardigan it's from Rahoas you may remember it from my Rahoas haul I got this in a size small and it's just a lovely cardigan I love this style I wear these so much these cardigans and jackets perfect for spring and I think this whole combination goes so nicely with the trench coat really classic really wearable of course if it is too warm you could wear this 
outfit on its own without the trench but the whole point of this video is styling the trench so I think for now we definitely still need it we are officially in spring but I think a lightweight jacket is still needed and then to finish off this look my two favorite accessories my black Prada ballet flats and my Celine Triumph bag these ballet flats are my spring essential I am so glad I bought them I got them from Vista Village for an absolute steal and it's all I'll be wearing this spring. So we've done the all white look. It was only right. I did a little bit of all black underneath the trench coat. This top is a lovely short sleeved basic. This is again from Lily Silk, but any kind of black basic would work. Just like most of these items, they're all interchangeable with things that you guys probably have in your own wardrobe. You know, if you only have a striped t-shirt instead of this style of cardigan, then by all means swap that in. I'm just kind of giving you rough ideas rather than specific items. But yeah, this is a very thin cashmere knit. I love stuff like this for spring. I have a couple of these short sleeved ones and I wear long sleeved cashmeres all throughout autumn winter so I thought why not add some short sleeved into my kind of basics capsule wardrobe and they're just fab for this time of year of course fantastic quality as well and then on the bottoms my favourite black wide leg trousers these are super old from Zara but they are an absolute classic really nice length fantastic fastening and belt loops you know I love that on a trouser and they have pockets as well just a really nice classic piece an absolute essential all year round in my wardrobe and then I thought I'm going to pair this with my Celine belt as well, which doesn't get as much wear as it used to. I think I'm just very conscious of pairing this belt with the Triumph bag and being too kind of overly logoed up. I do tend to kind of steer clear of this belt when I'm wearing the Triumph bag, but I think sometimes it can work. Let's say we made it work this time. And then to add a casual element to the outfit, I have paired it with my black Sambas. I've got so much wear out of these. I didn't think I would wear them as much as I wear my original Sambas, but I really, really do. They go with so much. I love pairing them with black like I have here, and they just look fantastic with darker outfits. They also look great with blue denim as well, but I just love them with darker colours. And the cream on the front here is so easy to pair with other things I have in my wardrobe as well. Look number four. I actually didn't realise this, but we have another stripes and blue denim look. This one I think is slightly different though. Still paired quite similarly. I think I've got the ballet flats on in this look as well. But we've gone for a different style of jeans. So these are the weekday row jeans. My ultimate favourite straight leg jeans. Quite loose and wide and baggy. I got them two sizes up, so I got these in a size waist 28, leg 32. I also have them in a waist 26, leg 30 for a more kind of like tighter fit. But I do have these ones for when I'm feeling a bit more casual. I do have to kind of roll the waistband over though if I'm not wearing a belt with them at the back. Hopefully nobody notices because they are quite big around my waist. But I just love the slouchy oversized look. These are in the colour summer blue as well and yeah, I just love the colour for spring, really nice light wash denim and again it looks perfect with stripes. This is the same cos t-shirt but obviously in the stripes, I just love this. I think the stripes on it are just so perfect, it may sound silly but sometimes striped items can be, you know, the wrong colour or the wrong thickness in stripe and I just think these thin stripes are perfect. I love the way that this looks together. Again, so simple, just a t-shirt and jeans, but with a trench coat and ballet flats, it just works. So for look number five, I've gone for something a little bit more dressy. I've picked up one of my favourite new in items that I've got for this spring, and it's this beautiful long line waistcoat that I got from H&M. I knew as soon as I saw this that it would sell out, so I nabbed it pretty quickly, and I just love it. I love the colour of it. I love the tiny little buttons. It's so nice that it's long line because I have quite a few waistcoats that are just a normal length come down to kind of my hips, but I love that this one's a little bit longer, just a slightly different fit, and it pairs so nicely with the colour of the trench coat. So I love those two together. I've then gone for a bit of black denim. I thought we'd had enough blue denim for this video. So these are my Zara wide leg jeans. They are mid-rise, so they're super comfortable and they work well with something like this that's a bit longer. And they're just a nice oversized jean. I love them for the evening as well because they are quite long. They look fantastic with heels. I got both the jeans and the waistcoat in a size eight. And then accessories wise, I have gone for this little woven bag that is so similar to the Bottega Jody. I just love it. It's a very cute small evening bag. And then my favourite heels at the moment, these are like a Zara animal print pointed toe and they have a really nice 
fastening that just goes around the ankle as well very classic very simple and i love the pointed toe peeking out these jeans i think it's such a nice look so for look number six i thought i'd introduce a skirt into this video this is a very classic satin slip skirt this one is from fourth and reckless and they sent it to me recently and i absolutely love it because of the length i've had a few slip skirts before and they're all long but not quite down to my ankles and this one definitely is and i just love the way it looks i think it's so flattering it's got a really nice drawstring at tie waist so it's got that casual element to it as well because sometimes these skirts can look a bit too dressy i have made it even more casual by pairing it with this white t-shirt that you saw at the beginning of the video i love these two items together so classic again so simple just a slip skirt and a t-shirt i've worn this kind of look before in the summer just with trainers and no jacket and it works so nicely but the black sambas with it again tie the whole thing in so nicely the cream on them works really well with the trench coat i think it's going to be the perfect item for holiday as well because it's so nice and loose and flowy and you can also dress it up really easily too oh and i got this in a size Eight, but it has got the drawstring so you're pretty flexible about what size you can go for and then finally for look number seven i've gone for something very classic almost workwear inspired obviously i love stripes you can tell but i particularly love blue and this shirt is gorgeous it's from lily silk and it's just got such a nice like flowing shape to it it's really beautiful material really nice and thin as well so it's breathable i just think it works so well with the white trousers a really nice nod to spring lovely bright neutrals and instead of bringing it down with black accessories i thought i'd go with some tan accessories so i've gone for my luevo belt on the tan side which is just a fantastic spring accessory in itself because you can have it black or brown and i just love that so wearable and it just brightens up the whole look as well this shirt i got in a size medium so it's a little bit oversized i do find that lily silk comes up a little bit small so i always tend to size up in the tops especially not so much the bottoms but the tops and then i had to match the tan accessories with my brown luna bag from songmont i love this such a fantastic bag it's so versatile as well there are so many different ways to wear it you can remove this handle you may have seen me wear it as a clutch lots of times it's just such a gorgeous bag and a beautiful colour goes so nicely with tan accessories and of course when we get into full summer mode I'll be swapping out these trainers for my tan or and sandals in this outfit but I do think that the all white veggers work really nicely I tried this outfit with my original sambas and it just didn't work I needed a plain white trainer so I dug out these veggers which don't get worn as much as I would like but I always keep them in my wardrobe because they're such a classic tennis shoe and they're perfect for looks like this when I don't want a trendy piece like my sambas so that is all seven looks that I had to show you guys on how I've been styling my trench coat I really hope you've enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments down below which outfit from one to seven was your favorite if you did enjoy this video please give it a little like don't forget to let me know if you want to see any other styling series on how to wear a particular item I'm always up for filming these this was so much fun to plan before you go it would be fantastic if you could hit the subscribe button as well and I will see you all very soon in my next video bye